late. I should have been doing this yesterday, but you know, football, right? So this is a character I created named Mr. Insincere. And I created him some years ago as a kind of an MC, master of ceremonies guy that announces upcoming acts that are coming up on the show. So I've kind of drawn him for a long time now. So I, this is one of the first poses I ever drew of him. And I'm gonna start on the rough layer. And I'm just gonna rough him in and draw him as a stick figure through this first pose. So here I'm roughing in his, his legs, arms, hands, head, because we're gonna animate the stick figure that's underneath the clothes. We're not going to animate the clothes, we're gonna animate the stick figure. We're gonna hold him for eight frames, put on onion skin, and start drawing on frame nine. This is, a, this is the anticipation pose. He's gonna bend down, put his head down, bring his arms in, his fists in. Hold that anticipation pose for a couple of frames and start drawing on frame 11 where he's gonna rear back, put his head back, keeps his arms in, turns his leg as he comes back, puts his foot up in the air. Just a dopey pose, just for fun. This is kind of like something that he does just before he makes a big announcement about the coming act that's gonna come on, screen, on stage and do something spectacular for the audience. Now he goes forward, his arms go out to balance. We hold that pose for four frames and now we start drawing on frame 21. And here he puts his right foot out, keeps his torso turned kind of towards us and has his left arm up and his right arm back. Hold that pose for four frames and we'll do drawing 25. Here it's on onion skin so the, pose, the pose where we just came from is red and we're drawing a new pose. Puts his arms out and his foot is up. Maybe that'll be one of his signature things that he does. Now let's scrub through it. Let's turn off the onion skin though this time. So we scrub through and see him go back, put his head back and step over. Go up there to frame 25. We're gonna hold that pose for a number of frames. Looks like I'm holding it for two frames. And we'll do drawing 27 on frame 27. Turn on the onion skin so we can see what we're drawing on top of. And now he's going to lean forward and bend his knee and his arms go up in the air. His attitude is more or less, you're not gonna believe what we have in store for you today. So he over-exaggerates all these moves. Now let's go down, hold that pose for, it looks like eight or 10 frames. And we were on 27 and now we're on 35. So we're holding for eight frames. Onion skin is on and he's gonna stand up. So he slides his foot in, stands up, and he's in a T position with his arms just straight out. So notice how it looks like a T. And let's scrub through without the onion skin so we can see what kind of movement we have going on. And we will hold this last pose so it's held for 10 frames. And start drawing over it. So his head will turn ever so slightly and his arms go down. And we'll hold that. Looks like to the end of the shot. So this is called his arms settle down and they're gonna have to do that in an arc. You can't just go straight down in a straight line. You have to settle in an arc, you have to swing down. So here we can see the movement looping. It gets to the end and then the arms go down. 
let's stop that and go back to the beginning. And let's start adding in some breakdown poses here. Where do we want those poses? Well, I'd like to not pop from that to that. I'd like to have some breakdown pose in between. And we'll go to frame, here's, this is seven. But it would probably look better if it was on frame five. So let's renumber that with a five by double clicking on that frame and turn on onion skin and we see the red drawing is where we came from the green drawing is where we're going so our breakdown pose has to be believable movement to get from the red pose to the green pose and we'll put in another breakdown pose so the red frame is where we came from the green is the breakdown and the very light drawing towards the end is the other, the next extreme. By doing these breakdown poses, we explain to the in-betweeners and assistants exactly what kind of movement we want and where we want it. Here's a breakdown where his foot goes down and you scrub through it and you can see how, how the movement is working. This is a settle pose where he goes down a little bit lower than what you had and his foot goes back even further. And if you take off the onion skinning, it's easier to see the movement, the settle back. So now here, he puts both arms out. How do we get there? Well, let's make an arc and have him put his foot down and he swings his head up. And as you can see, there's an arc to get from one pose to the other. When we go back to do the rough cleanups, all the volumes will be kept a lot more of the same size and We'll be checking to make sure we get the volumes just right, comparing it to the first drawing, our key drawing. So now the next pose is he kind of hops across, drags his foot, so he springs up, and here's the breakdown for that. He lifts his foot up in the air, keeps his arms kind of out, and then he's going to land. And now here's another breakdown to show exactly how he gets from one pose to the other. So here I've made it so his foot drags across, but I'm thinking when I do it the next time, that back foot, instead of sliding and dragging, will actually go up in the air and it'll look more like he's hopping instead of dragging across. So now let's do a breakdown where he's going to turn. The red is where we came from, the green is where we're going. And here's that breakdown. Keeps that one foot back. And so that will give us a cleaner movement instead of just popping. So here's where we were. And this is more or less just a settle drawing. So when he made that, that move, he settles down and his arms go up higher and a little bit closer together. And then he stands up. From that to the standing pose. So we'll do a breakdown in between to show how that movement works. He turns his, his legs. Turn off the onion skin and you can check your motion here to see how he stands up. 
by dragging his foot around. Then his arms go down. So to make a better movement for his arms going down, we'll make another breakdown drawing. So on the onion skin. And here we are showing his arms go a little bit up in the air. His head moves a little bit to the right and tilts to the right. So it's kind of a bounce with his arm. And then they go down. So we'll renumber that one. Looks like it'll be 43. And this will smooth out and show exactly where we want those arms to go as they arc down to the last pose. The last pose it looks like is 45. Let's turn off the onion skin and then we can scrub through and see how that movement came out. And here is the, the onion skin. I think I'm getting rid of some of the first ones and then going back to take a look at it again. Just to make sure some of this movement's going to be okay. Looks like I've decided to put yet one more drawing in there. Now let's press play and see what, what we have here. As you can see at the end, he lowers both hands. And like I said, the next lesson will be tightening this up. And we'll go through and clean all this up to put it on model as that first key drawing. And I'll see you then.